Well, and now it's time for one of our guests. Heather Storm is the host of Velocity's hit show, Garage Squad, which is currently in its fifth season. Heather and her co-stars crash garages and help owners refurbish their classic hot rods so they can get back on the road where they belong. Let's take a look. Right now I'm just removing this tie rod right here. I'm actually going to replace it, but not quite yet because when we do put the headers on, the tubing goes around the steering linkage. So I'll leave that out for now, but I am going to replace the shocks and the upper control arms that are really going to help with the handling of the car. All right, let's knock this out. There we go. Hey, Ronnie. Yeah? You got a jack for me? I need to drop this brake. Yeah, I'll bring it in. We ended up putting on new upper control arms because the bushings in the old ones were all dry rotted, the ball joints were worn out. In with the new. It was just easier just to put on a nice set of tubular control arms, which helps stiffen up the front suspension anyway. That's it. Everyone, please give a warm build brunch welcome to Heather Storm. Woo! Yay. Hello. Welcome. Thanks for having me. Yeah. So congrats, season five is airing right now. Yeah. How has this season been different for you? How was it? Was it more special? Five in. Yeah, five seasons in, I feel like, first of all, like everybody in the cast has really gotten to work together a lot. So we just have a lot of fun. We knew each other's personalities. We know the little things that are going to piss them off <laughs> if we really want to. <laughs> um, and also the stories have just gotten a lot better. We really can find the stories because our show isn't just about building the cars. It's about helping out the family, getting that car back on the road so that these people can kind of move on with their life because a lot of times tragic events have happened that let the car sit in the garage mm -hmm. for 20, 30, 40 years. Um, so just really helping people through that um, transition into How life. How did you get started with this? Like, were you like 14, just like fixing <laughs> the cars? My father. Yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah, so my father had me helping in the garage all the time. He had old cars. And so he'd, you know, tell my brother and I to stop watching TV, come out and help him in the garage instead. And, you know, we kind of begrudgingly did that. And, and you know, loved it? Yeah, it we like, fell in love with Garth, yeah, Is absolutely. it, like, meditative at some point to be just, like, you know, fixing tires? It, it, I don't know if it's meditative, per <laughs> se, because it can get frustrating, but I think there's a really good sense of accomplishment, mm. you know? When we all come together, we have one week to fix the car in the garage. Oh. So that's not very long at all. I mean... Mm. A lot of things have to happen. So when you have eight of us in there working, it's just it's a great team effort. And by the time we're done, I'm like, wow, we actually did it. Yeah. I'm always amazed myself. Are yeah, you still not, sorry? Yeah. I was gonna say, are you oh, yeah. still learning things? Yes. Always. Oh my goodness, <laughs> there is endless things to learn. I mean, every time we're working on a different type of car, you know. So I mean, even though it all basically goes together the same, it's also very different. What's your favorite kind of car? Oh my. Well, that's like, a tough one. Do you one. have like 12 at home? I have a 65 Mustang, okay. silver blue. Um, yeah, it's really cool. Love it. Luxury pony interior. It's like the, it's like the little ponies on the seat and everything. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that's that's my car. Okay. Um, so like that's my favorite that right now. I drive that daily. Yeah. That's awesome. A 65 Mustang. <laughs> We're all taking Ubers. Yeah. Like. I, when I lived in LA, I drove a Prius. Yeah. yeah. That was fun. With ponies. <laughs> yeah. That got me places. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I, I don't know a lot about cars, so I like the show a lot because it <laughs> kind of educates me. And also, like you said, it helps give back to people, which I really appreciate. Yeah, and it's Very inspiring because a lot of people that watch the show, they have an old car in their garage, and yeah. they're like, oh, I've been meaning to get in there and work on it. Yeah. And I can now. You know, I yeah. feel inspired to get in there instead yeah. of feeling overwhelmed. Yeah. Wow. Can you tell us about working in these garages with like you know you're in someone else's space yeah and, like the owners are there like what is that process like um so yes yeah, so we're like a band of gypsies so we kind of show up at the owner's house they submit their car they get chosen we show up we unload the van into their garage kind of take over their space as you say and I think it's a little overwhelming for the owners at first I mean like I said you know there's usually been some tragic event that that made the car sit in their garage for a long time. So then all of a sudden everybody comes in and you guys know production isn't, you know, it yeah. doesn't tread lightly, you know, and it's like, all right, we're setting up here, move out of the way, putting things here. But after the weekend, they, they get in there and work with us on the cars. So I think after they get with us and they're joking around in the garage and stuff, and they're like, oh, okay, and this is good. Too. And they're learning about yeah. their car too. Yeah. Is yeah. there any sort of companion piece to the show where people can learn things to do at home? Like, just simple things. Yeah, well, we cars. get tips and stuff. Yeah. yeah, there's like tech tips and different things. We're like, okay, look, this is how you can tell this. This is how you, and, and so people can go, oh, you know what? I have that car and I never yeah. even knew that. <laughs> what are the basic things that people should know how to do with their car? 
That's a that good we question. Probably don't. <laughs> Most people, I think, just rely on taking it to the dealer or the mechanic, like something's wrong. Right. But I think really basic things. I mean, you should know how to check your oil. Mm -hmm. Okay. You don't necessarily know how to need to know how to change it, but you should at least know how to check it. <laughs> yeah. You know, he's looking like really wide eyed I have right no now. No idea how to do any of this stuff. <laughs> I'm lucky I did not die. Can you pump your own gas? I could pump my own gas. That That's was an achievement when I learned that. Yeah. That's a positive. Change not, a tire. Yeah. Would you say change Changing a tire? a tire is really important. My father needed wanted me to know how to change a tire. In order to get my license. Driving a stick shift, really important. I, know how to do that. Uh, yeah. I could barely fail that part. <laughs> you shouldn't fail. be driving. <laughs> That's how I moved back to New York. Yeah, yeah, only Uber. And then, you know, I mean, simple things like you should understand where things are on your car. Like, open the hood, look at it. Okay, there's the battery. Great, good to know. You should know how to jump a car. You know, Ooh. I mean, that's really Change the important. Wiper fluid. Change, just add wiper fluid or water. That's pretty good. I know you can stuff. You know, <laughs> <laughs> I'm from Texas. My dad raised me right. <laughs> well, I mean, the jumping is important, right? Because yeah. maybe your your car will die, or maybe someone else's will, and you can be a good Samaritan and help them out. Yeah. And I think people always get really nervous about that too, because it's like, oh my God, there's electricity, and yeah. how do I do this? And it's kind and of hot when you're a girl. I mean, I'm gonna call <laughs> You're like, um, you need me to change your tire, like yeah. side of the road, jump your car. Like I feel like it's cool. like you're like yeah. first of all, your name's Heather Storm, which is already hot, <laughs> and then you're like fixing cars. That's just like a very cool female trait. Yeah, to yeah you're it's absolutely an, like a role model for young girls interested in cars. Like, totally. What is the message you hope to send to you know female viewers and girls who watch the show? We can do anything we want to do. Hell yeah. I mean, come on. Oh, I love it. <laughs> Including That's... driving across the US in that 65 month right. thing. Right, yeah. Which you do, you have a web series about yeah, that. Started... Which is like so many people's dream. It's so fun, it really is. I think that there's something, of course road trips are great and in a newer car, it's a little more comfortable in times, <laughs> I'll be honest. But the thing about driving in a classic car is you take your time. Mm -hmm. And really the country is meant to be seen by taking your time, taking the slow roads, and having fun and kind of just kind of drifting back in time into when you know the highway, highways were first paved and people were traveling across the US yeah. thinking, oh, let's all pile in the car and go see America. And so there's, there's a lot of nostalgia there and it's really cool. How do you feel about electric cars? I think electric cars are great. I know that's like surprising because like yeah. we're working, we're not working on electric cars. Yeah. Um, but I think there's room for everything. You know, I mean, I think it's great to have the classic cars and keeping that alive. Mm -hmm. um, but I think you know we're moving. Technology is moving forward. Mm -hmm. We're moving into the future, and electric cars are the future. My kids are two and three, and I don't think they'll ever drive. Oh, like no. I yeah. literally. They may not. I think yeah, they're, they're gonna have auto drive on everything. Self-driving cars. Years. Yeah. So. But maybe they'll know how to change a tire. <laughs> the self-driving yeah. technology hopefully will be good then. Right now, yeah. I've been in those cars and almost crashed. You have? Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. I have really? one of those. Really? <laughs> I have one My of those. My dad crashes. has one of those. Yeah. And, uh, I've been in it, and he's like, all right, it's going to go now. And I'm like, I'm going into a ditch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dying, Dad. <laughs> it's off. Yeah, I think it'd be hard to trust it right now. You're yeah. like, I, I trust myself. I don't know if I trust this they vehicle. They make you like, touch the wheel every two minutes. Yeah. yeah. But um, it gets a software update every two weeks, which is kind of cool because your car is getting better. It's like Heather coming to your house every two weeks. And it's like you're just getting better over time. Yeah. So it's, like it's learning. I would like it because it's just less judgment those late <laughs> nights, Saturday nights. The driver wouldn't be judging me that I'm <laughs> wasted. So just, you know, because it's a Stay robot car. Like, just like won't say anything to me. Exactly. Um, can you tease us anything that's going on? Season five is a big season. Can you tease us anything that's going to happen? Well, we have uh, two episodes left. Yeah. All right. I mean, I can't believe how quickly it's gone by. Um, so the next episode we have coming up, um, the guy lost, the son lost his dad at such an early age. I think he was 11 years old and he had a gearhead father who had a really cool gasser sitting in his garage and it was sitting there over 40 years wow. before wow. we came in. Wow. So it was it was tough because I was working with him a lot on the car and, and we actually, the fun part is we didn't just end up doing one car on this episode, we end up doing two cars. Aww. So we discover his mom's Mustang in the garage as well. In the same span amount of time? Brand yes. Wow. Wow. We're like, oh, okay, well, what's this? Well, maybe we should get this going too for you because they've both been sitting there. And so it was kind of bringing the, his whole memory of his father back to life and, mm. and for his mom and him. And it was right. it's a very emotional episode. So really I'm, I'm excited yeah, about beautiful. that. Yeah. Well, Heather, thank you so much for being here. Yeah. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. And everyone, make sure to check out season five of Garage Squad on Velocity.com. Thank you.